So let's begin. The first part is I invite you to sit down on a chair like I do, like you just lean back and really relaxed. Take a deep breath. Ah, nothing to do, nowhere to go, just to be here, like sitting on the beach and having a drink in a beach chair. Then I invite you to take a cushion into your lap. So I have one here. And put your hands on a lean chair and take some object in your hands of your choice. It can be any random object that's somewhere around you. And the invitation is to just feel it up and make connection with it. Take a timer for five minutes, explore it. What is it made of? And slow down your movement by half. this inner sigh occur and just start to feel this sensual pleasant sensation on your hands to activate your skin And when any other feelings occur, just bring your awareness straight back to the sensation in your hands. Close your eyes if you like to, or open them. Just experiment with what works better for you. And if your mind wanders, it's just its job. Just bring your attention straight back to the sensation in your skin, in your hands, and just feel. Allow your breath to flow. In this place where there's nowhere to go than just being in your hands and just feel. Get bored or angry or sad. Just allow everything that occurs and bring it straight back to the sensation in your hands. That's the nature of this exercise and the praxis. You will come in connection with experiences that makes it sometimes difficult to feel. Here you learn to come fully present in your hands and into your experience.
Now I will show you about the exercise that we just did with touching an object, how that is related to pleasure and joy. So, what is pleasure and joy? Pleasure and joy is what is pleasure and joy for you. Nobody can tell you what is pleasure and joy for you. So you have to find it for yourself. And to pleasure and joy in your experience, there are three components I would like to talk about. So the first component to pleasure and joy is your attention. And where your attention is going. So is your attention actually on the sound outside out of the room or is your attention somewhere where you're touching the seat where you're sitting on or is your attention going to the stimuli of where you're feeling the sensation in your skin so the first one attention and the second one is the stimuli of what you're feeling what is the experience in your skin and the third one is the meaning or the story or context. So all three components of joy and pleasure they are present all the time in our awareness. So in this exercise what we just did with the object we bring all our attention to the stimuli where we feeling what we feel so we notice what we feel and you might have noticed as well that you can bring your attention to the meaning that occurs oh this object is boring or there's a feeling in my body that reminds me to an older experience that I had years ago so that your attention as well can go to the meaning and the story as well, so that these two components as well connected to your attention. The meaning and the story, they are as well connected to the stimuli. I want to give you an example. You standing with your lover somewhere um, on the balcony and your lover is wrapping their arms around you and it feels just extremely sensual and pleasurable and you feel connected and love and you just want to merge in this moment forever. So you feel the stimuli and the meaning, so the context and the story feels extremely great and you bring all your attention to both of them. The next day you're standing in the bus and uh, a stranger is coming from behind you and is touching you the same way as your lover did the way before and you turn around as a complete stranger. So the meaning and the context completely changes and your attention is just like goes to your stimuli and you just go in a complete warning situation. So that the meaning is an important factor of the stimuli but important is where is your attention going and where do you want your attention is going. So in this touch exercise that we just did with the cushion is and with the object is, it's like a meditation where you learn to bring your attention fully focused to your stimuli and activate here your, your noticing brain where you literally dive into the experience.